ladies and gentlemen. Here's your host, Tom Cultiviano. I had mentioned to you before about how serious CBS is about all of this talk show stuff. Uh, they weren't kidding. They actually made me, true, they actually made me rehearse bringing a guest over to the desk. So I had uh, one of the writers rehearse with me earlier today, uh, and I'm glad I did because I had to work out some kinks. <laughs> Action. Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest, John Doe. Good to see you. All right, man. Yeah. So okay. You good to see. Now, obviously, we noticed right off the bat your accent. Where are you from? London. London. Yep. That's very nice. And are you here traveling, or did you move here to get a job? No, I've been traveling. Ah, uh, yes. And is this your first show you've been to? Yep. Oh, good. Those, well, this will be the best. Trust me. Okay. Now, uh, I know you're from London, but you got uh, you got the books over there, right? Uh, we're gonna play. <laughs> Is that wrong? All right, we are going to play. Are you ready? Did you go to college? No. You didn't? No. Are you of college age, though? I am, but I didn't go. Okay. It's okay. People don't... <laughs> don't hate me for it. All these <laughs> snobby Americans judging. <laughs> uh, and what is it? Hold this. You're shaking a little. I want to I hug him, and I'm not even yelling. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Just take a deep breath. You're going to be fine. Right. Let's go. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. Yeah, not one of them damn Englanders. Uh, <laughs> which, uh, no, I don't mean any offense there. You're very attractive. I didn't. I didn't meet you before. Thank you. Yeah. I and I and I've been looking at Ray Romano. So the contrast. The, A little the, different. The, the A contrast different. is almost shocking. Really? Yeah. Uh, I should now, walk around with him everywhere I go and. I I do that. It you helps. Do. Yeah. It's going very well. Yeah. This is as as well as this. This interview is going very well. Yeah, I, I I think it's going swell. It is. Wait, were you worried that it wasn't going to go? I well? was a little worried. Why? Because you didn't know who I was. <laughs> Did they? You're very, I like, you're very cute, though. You're very cute and very I'm, funny, and, and you have the whole... Yeah. I think it's the desk. I think the desk helps, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's welcome Tom Calcabiano. Welcome, Tom. Oh. Hi. Hi. You guys have been, have, I was going to say have been together, but no, have not been together, but as friends, have known each other yes. for 17 years. Well, we now, met in stand-up comedy, and then he became a writer on Raymond. Right, yeah. and when you first went out on the road, you took Tom, but you didn't take your wife, Anna. Did she get jealous? She didn't get jealous of him. She got jealous uh, in case he so, brought a girlfriend yeah. home or something. By yeah. the way, wh why do I have to sit next to Ray? Couldn't I sit between Meredith and... Yeah, we should be a girl. Can I sit there? Wait, let me set the record straight, Tom, because if you heard in the How opening about, monologue... Touch my knee. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in the elbow monologue, she doesn't date anymore, and they, none of them like porn, so you have nothing to say. Yeah. Okay, go switch. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, I actually came out in favor of porn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Listening carefully. But if you listen carefully, she said if it was someone she might marry, she would then go I out would with them. Mm, so right, that's right. Switch. I don't know. Yeah. Why exactly. won't you switch? Just stay where you are. Oh, you want, yeah, I'll yeah, switch. Yeah, let's switch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, my God. <laughs> this is my <laughs> We flew to Miami, and then we drove every city up into Savannah, Georgia. Do you like Georgia. Miami? I'm from Miami. I live there. Uh, we love Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Next, on HBO, follow Ray Romano's 80-day journey as he hits the road to get back into the stand-up circuit, the premiere of 95 Miles to Go. What is my favorite episode? Ah. Uh... I like the one this year with the uh, sex game, the board game, you know? I me there's someone mentioned that before. Where the game tells you what to do. Right. You like that because you got to kiss Patty. I get to kiss Patty, times, yeah. and I took the board home with me. What's your favorite, ma'am? The... <laughs> she, you wow. Know, the, the sculpture, the sculpture one. Yeah. What's that? What did I think of the sculpture? I took that home with me. <laughs> That's who he plays the game with. <laughs> and at what point do you go, That's it? Uh, I looked in the mirror one day and didn't know who I was. 
I literally woke up one day and looked in the mirror and went, who are you? Because you had been here, can you do, Be absolutely. Can you do this? Absolutely. My self-esteem had been shot down for a very long time. And he was constantly criticizing you? Or Everything. Putting you down? I wouldn't be doing this correctly. Yeah, you so. are kind of screwing this up. <laughs> <laughs> but notice what I'm doing here. Yeah. I put flour on here. I'm going to roll this out. We could do it like a pizza guy, but it's kind of... Do you, you know, know how to do that? Gonna, I don't want to show off. If you have a boyfriend, I don't have to show <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you got to be like, all right, sure. And then when they cross the line, then you say, hey, guy, back up off it. Are you talking to me now? No, okay. I'm saying... <laughs> did you see the view, Orly? I did. I made it. Ha, ha, ha.